What is going on you guys? Bramley here with a brand new Fortnite tutorial. Now Fortnite Season X or Season 10 just came out. So let's draw some of the brand new skins from the game. Today we are going to do to, do, to draw Bronto, which is a rare skin, one of the dinosaurs, uh, just like Triceratops and Rex. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I've got my paper in landscape, but it really doesn't matter which, uh, which way you want your paper to go for this one. We're only going to be drawing him up to um, torso, mid torso here, just to make it a little bit easier. So let's do that. Okay. So first I'm going to draw a circle. Actually, let's draw an oval. Now think of the proportions of an egg. That's kind of how I want this to be. Okay. So here we've got an egg shape just like that. Okay. And then about this far down, I'm going to draw A circle. Okay, so we're essentially creating Bronto's uh, snout and his head is up here. And you want that circle to be about the same, the same width, the same way this way as it is the, the oval. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, and then I'm going to make another. This is the bottom part now. Two lines from here, it kind of goes narrow, so I'm basically making the jaw part. And then a line going across. Now this is going to be the head for Bronto, well, obviously, but this is going to be the jaw part. So as you guys could probably already tell, here's the snout, and here you've got the top of the head. Okay, so a couple of shapes here and there, and then it starts to look like Bronto. Okay, I'm just trying to get that shape as best as I can. And there you go. Okay, now there's like a, a person inside. So we're kind of going with that idea. We're going to be drawing his, like his mouth is sort of sticking out uh, from the mouth of the Brontosaurus mask. Okay, so now we've, we've got this, let's draw the jaw. And about this far, and the, like this far up, we want those... Uh, broad shoulders and because it's like comically broad it really does just go straight down like this he is wearing um the scarf so that's sort of what makes it super broad as well but do remember that the mask is super huge the arms are and the shoulders aren't very huge okay so about this far and that far that's where we're going to begin our shoulders Here's our shoulder right here, it just goes rounded and then down. Okay. This is going to be his shirt right there. And then his shirt, or whatever you call that thing that he wears, is part of his part of his costume. Goes like that. Okay, and then here you got the shoulder, and it goes this way. Okay. So we're gonna end it there. And now let's kind of draw the uh, the costume, which is not a very hard costume to draw, to be honest. So, I mean, we got lucky that, that way. Okay. Up to there, that's going to be the handkerchief, the scarf thing, whatever it is. Okay, it goes up to there. And this is going to go down, straight down, and then sort of curves like this. Okay, like this. Straight down. There you go. Okay, now here we got the backpack. So backpack strap. Up here. Goes down. Actually, it's not a backpack strap. Or maybe it is, you just don't see the back wing. Regardless, it is a strap that goes straight down. Like that. Okay, with a. Um, like a blue rectangle that goes right there. The reference photo for this is in the uh, description, so go check that out if you guys uh, want to. Okay, now we have a strap that goes from here and sort of goes across his chest. It goes underneath this scarf. Okay, so it goes this way. Actually, in, in the drawing, it goes... So think of it as going across to the other side like that. Okay. 
So it just tucks underneath the handkerchief. Okay, and then here we've got another strap and the strap goes this way and this way. So this, this strap kind of goes underneath this bigger strap that goes across, goes like that. And then that rectangular thing here, whatever it is. Yeah, there you go. And then here you've got the, like the, the vest or whatever he's wearing here in the front, it's a lot thicker than the arms. Okay, so it's a big thick layer. It's like a dinosaur costume. Okay, so it goes like this. And then there's another layer underneath it. And then here we'll do another tiny layer, goes down. Okay, there you go. That's good. So we'll leave it at that, you guys, for now. In the meantime, I do have to, I like to mention, I do have to pay some bills, so I need to run some advertisement because that is how YouTubers make money on this platform. So here's an advertisement. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you when we get back. All right, we're back, you guys, and I do apologize for the sound quality in that first bit. Um, there's just some connection issues here that I have to fix. But anyway, I've zoomed in on the face or the mask of Bronto. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we're going to start off with the eyes, and that's not going to be too hard. Okay, let's draw the center first. Center goes down this way. Okay, now let's draw the sides or the brows. Is that what you would call it? On this side it goes this way, and then on this side it goes this way as well. Almost looks like a basketball. But what you're really trying to do is you're trying to shape the placement for the eyes. Okay, so it looks like that. And here it goes like this. It still does kind of look like a basketball. But you do want to make the top of the head a little bit more of a cone shape, like that. Okay, now the eyes start here. You sort of make this oval, okay? Almost like a football or American football for those of you who live outside of the US. Looks like that, okay? Go to the other side. Fairly small over here. And there you go. Okay, you do want to make sure that this is as wide as this right here, because they're supposed to be symmetrical. Okay, I'm going to erase the center line and replace it with some dinosaur skin patterns. One is a bit triangular here that and then another one going from the top of the head it looks like another triangle okay there you go and then now let's draw the eyes and this goes like that and then another like this and then i color in this part and he is supposed to look derpy okay this goes like this, like a rainbow, and then the second one beneath it. And there you go. Okay, so there's the top of the head. Now here's the snout. What I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this part here so that we're left with this thing that kind of looks like a head or the outline of a head. But what I do want to do is I want to make this narrower, not as wide. Okay, and then right around here, I want to draw a line going across like that. Okay, and then another one, another line going across like this. So it's about halfway down. Okay, here on this edge, you want to create a circle, like a, a rounded rounded edge here and then the bottom line sort of make a lip and it goes underneath like this okay and then here same thing 
you do want to make sure that from the center it's the same distance here as it is here, okay? So right around here, goes like that. Okay, and then again, this runs underneath it. There you go. Okay, right here, I draw a diagonal line, and here as well. You wanna make sure that they're the same distance from the center. So here and here, those are good. It sort of goes like this, and then loops. Like that. Okay, and then another one like this, like a D shape. And then in the center of that D, I'm going to draw a dark outline of the nostril. Okay, there you go. And as I do that, fix this here at the top. There you go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort of make his face tilt a little bit this way by adding a bit of a gap over here. You see this gap here that is not present on this side. So he is starting to look like he's uh, leaning a little bit more to the right. Line there. Okay, and then the teeth. I'm going to start here in the center by drawing these two wide triangular teeth that look like that. And then I'm just going to go one, and then this is a half one. It goes up. Okay. One half. And this goes very small, but it does continue this way to the side. Okay, now this side now, draw, goes down. And then from here, see this line that we drew here, line coming down from that. Okay, so we're trying I'm trying to even it out, making sure that it's symmetrical and making sure that the proportions are correct. I'm sort of erasing that center line, but that's uh, okay. Okay, here's the lip. Goes this way and then sort of skims the edge here that and then here just like that and I'm going to draw another one okay and yeah now the teeth we'll start with these two again and then you sort of start turning after the first two okay and then the teeth sort of become wide like that and then just see one two triangles and then here same thing except you kind of see the, the line going across as well right you see the front of the teeth you see the these lines that separate the teeth Okay, there you go. So now what I was talking about is that there's a person wearing the mask. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw the lips. Got a bit of a smile. So there's the line for the lips and then here's the lower, lower lip like this. The chin. And then he's got a bit of a goatee going on. So there's the soul patch beard what have you okay and then darker here is because that's the outline of the person inside that's the outline of his face okay so that's what it looks like inside there you go
there's Bronto right there. Now let's draw the a few of these skin patterns again. They're pretty triangular in shape. And then here's one below the nostril, like that. Okay, and then there's the white line that sort of just goes this way, zigzags down and goes across because it's purple at the top. And then this bottom part is white. Okay, so zooming out, that's what that looks like. Now let's draw the torso here. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's draw the handkerchief. Handkerchief, handkerchief, chief. Okay, now this goes like a triangle and then it meets this line here. Okay, we're essentially just creating a couple of folds to make it look like it is a folded up fabric. But because of the, it's not in great detail as it is just a small detail in the game. Okay, line here. There you go, so there, that's good. Bit of a line from the center here goes here. And then like that. And then last one goes around the neck. Like this. There you go. Okay, this is a, again it's a strap that goes across. Okay, here he's got like this purple white white chest. Okay, so it sort of goes like that. Okay. And then there's a bit of a like a little paint blemish, it almost looks like just above that, and it sort of looks like this. Okay, if you look at the reference photo, you'll see what I mean. There's that there. Okay, and then lastly, the arms. Draw a shoulder first, and like this. Okay, and then goes like that. Okay, and there's the bicep there. Some Bronto skin texture. Um, Triangle here. You can be very random with this. Doesn't have to be the same pattern. And there you go. And then we do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And then some brontosaurus skin patterns. Just at the top shoulder. And there you go. Now, is there anything else I missed? I believe not. But having said that, let's zoom out and let's take a look at our drawing. There you go. Not a bad one. Let me know if you guys like this rare skin, this Bronto skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you guys have been enjoying Fortnite Season 10. Uh, I don't know much about it, but uh, yeah, do let me know in the comment section what you guys think, what your favorite skin is, and all of that stuff, and what skin you think we should draw. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will catch you again in the next one. Take care. And that is all the time that we have for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in all the way to the very end. I hope you guys are very proud of your drawings. If you are, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community and to Instagram and post your artwork there and tag me so that I can see it as well. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do uh, my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. So be sure to check that out. If you feel like being extra generous, I have links in the description on different ways that you can help support this channel. Your contributions go a long way in ensuring that uh, I can make content like this for free for you guys, so I appreciate your consideration. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, liked this video, commented down below, and most especially if you shared this with your friends in your social media. And of course, speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google+, and of course on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of 
the uh, tutorial that's here on this uh, video. Again, you guys, all of the links to all of those are in the description, so be sure to read it. Finally, thank you once again for watching. I will see you guys next time, and don't forget, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.